everybody. Hello. Uh, my name's Jake Mulgrew. Hey, I'm Connor. Uh, this is the Film for Thought podcast where we talk about films. <coughs> yes, it is. Uh, I, I, I'm your host. J- oh, we did the intro. <laughs> I was about to introduce myself again. I'm your host, Jake Mulgrew. Da, 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 da. Da. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, films, films presumably. and stuff because yeah. uh, Comic Con was this weekend. It was, and, we uh, thought, and I dodged like all of the news, all of the news, <laughs> bar a couple of trailers. Yeah, well, um, <clears throat> luckily they were the important ones. I, th- I figured I, this is something we've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, we did a, 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 a very short form version of this podcast uh, a yeah, long time a good ago, while ago. Uh, and <laughs> it got removed because I just, you know. It's because Jake has zero like... com- zero commitment to online content. Absolutely. Uh, Try looking for our old animations. Good luck. They're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's. Do you want to just jump straight into the sure, news? Sure. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh, Batman versus Superman. Batman versus Superman. Trailer dropped. Yeah, it did. It looked good. They released it full HD. Yeah. Uh, on the same day that the panel. Uh, Warner Brothers being very inconsistent with whether or not they're going to release full HD versions of their uh, trailers. Yeah. But they did, they did. release the Batman <coughs> vs. Superman trailer. Yeah, they did. What did you think? I thought... Um, first, like, my immediate thought upon the trailer ending and me sitting back into my chair and just reminiscing on the trailer for a moment, my first first thought was, what the fuck was Jason Momoa? Yeah, there's no Aquaman <laughs> in the trailer. What the fuck? How could they... Like, I mean, he's such an important member of the Justice League. Like, Apparently he, not. <laughs> he, no, but he, like, he really is. Yeah. He's like, he can push Superman on his ass. He is an important character. Yeah, he's, he, he's pretty cool. He, he owns all of the oceans and by, <laughs> and by right, all of the seafood. And that's kind of cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're saying he's got a monopoly on the seafood industry. He does indeed, yeah. 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 McDonald's wouldn't have the fillet of fish yeah. without him. Yeah, so, I mean, absentee aside, yeah. let's talk about who was in this trailer. Yeah, Wonder Woman. For the Wonder first Woman time. showed up yeah. in this trailer. Fighting somebody, Something. I guess. Uh, there's a couple we of thoughts. We think it has laser vision. Well, sure. well, the couple of thoughts is, one is, you know, at the end of that trailer, uh, Superman rips the doors off the Batmobile and Batman stands up and he's not in and like his... His proper armor. Yep. So the thought is that maybe Wonder Woman steps in to help Batman in that fight, and that she's fighting Superman. But I think it's from a later conflict, and she's fighting Doomsday because I think Doomsday is going to show up. I get the feeling, given the presence of a completely, just like, absolutely decimated Batmobile in the background, and like half the city on fire and shit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Doomsday. Yeah, it feels like it's Doomsday. It feels like a Doomsday thing. Yeah. I feel like after Metropolis in Man of Steel, Superman's just going to sort of dial it back a bit. Yeah, well, he'd have to, like, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, I, I better not chop a building in half of my eyes again. That was not cool. Yeah. Uh, Especially when that building is plain <coughs> yeah. financial. Also, <laughs> that fucking news clipping of a dozens killed in... in oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dozen, dozens killed. Dozens killed when half of the city fell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it just meant be, uh, in that building. Yeah, I know, but even still, that might be a bit of an... Yeah. It, th- it all happened so fast, I doubt they had time to evacuate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, so, so Wonder Woman... Up. What do you think? How does she look? It's good in the... Co- I did There's colour. Think... Yeah, there is colour. There's colour in this shit. film. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think Wonder Woman was going to look as convincing on screen. Well, yeah, I, d- I was going like... to... She, w- she seemed like she would be <coughs> one, of the diffi- one of the ones that's difficult yeah. to kind of transition. Yeah. But, but it looks good. I hope they dial back the really, like, world leader type of speech that she has in the comics. Oh, you mean like, she's just... Just like every sentence of... is supposed to be part of a motivational speech. Yeah. It's like, that, that, I hope that's dialed way back. Yeah. Because that's, uh, that's going to be really out of place. Yeah. I, I guess you're right. Yeah. Other uh, first appearances in this trailer, uh, Lex Luthor shows up. <laughs> looking majestic yeah with his mane <laughs> it's like someone you, you you've never seen the richard donner superman films no but I gene hackman in those film in the first film i haven't seen all of them i've seen the first film uh he wears like a really unconvincing wig in that as well Is it what, so it i looks... think it, it it strikes me that maybe oh yeah maybe it's a wig it's it's a wig uh, Maybe it deliberately, is a wig. like in diegetically, it is a wig. It's not like a, yeah, 
Cause, so, because like he's ashamed of his bald head or something. That'd be really funny to have like such an enormous wig pulled off his head. Well, it would. That, that would be. That would be like, what it, Oh hell no! Nah. Or like happens in the Richard Donner version. <laughs> you don't see him bald until he ends up in prison, and then a helicopter takes off and blows the wig off his head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This was the seventies, man. Oh, <laughs> it was the man. whole different. This is also the film where Superman like r- reverses the rotation yeah. of the Earth to is this turn back where time. He, like rebuilds the Great Wall of China. No, that's Quest for Peace with his eye, with his laser. Even vision. the name's shit. Yeah. Whoa. God, look at the sorry audience's ears. <laughs> but yeah, so I Lex Luthor. Just... I like his voice. Yeah. I like his kind of attitude. He seems. It, it seems right. I really like the the red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. Line, yeah. I, yeah. I, I like it. Just it, it, se- it seems like he's just there taking the piss out of the situation. Yeah, I, think. It's, I don't it's, think it's like a sincere. No, no, <laughs> I, it definitely, definitely isn't a sincere thing. Yeah, but I don't think think people are gonna get that context until the film comes out. So yeah. expect a meme or two. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. That that could go unchecked. Uh, there's a shot in this trailer of. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex, Lex Luthor hanging over some kryptonite. Oh yeah, totally yeah. forgot about that. Bit. Yeah, there's some kryptonite in it. Uh, it's green. It's a rock. It's, it is. I don't really know what much it is more geological and we can say about significantly that. Significantly jade. Yeah. Coloured. Yeah, there's um <clears throat> there's some ideas that maybe uh you know how Superman in Man of Steel he got like weak whenever he tried to attack the big octopus world engine thing. Yeah. So that, maybe the, the kryptonite, kryptonite was and that's from where the, the world diving engine. scene comes from as yeah, well. Yeah, the diving scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could I could buy into that. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Very well done. It I like that they're kind of like looking, oh, we we fucked this up, let's use it. Like I feel mm. like the whole justification for Batman wanting to fight Superman, you know how everyone in the who watched Man of Steel was like, oh, they've destroyed Metropolis, you yeah. know, th- boo, this is not a good move. But then they were like, but it's part of a bigger thing, but it wasn't intended to be no. part of that. Do you know what I mean? Good, They're doing good well recovery. Like, cover- good yeah, recovery. Like, recovering it, because it makes perfect Clutched sense. it at the last second. It makes perfect yeah. sense. Love, love the way the story's going. Yeah. So, big- I hope that we don't immediately see the entirety of Metropolis rebuilt. Well, I, I mean, I, I think it's, it's I think under... it's pretty much a direct sequel. Like it takes place because I mean, it's got that scene of if that's Bat the case, Fleck. then I especially fucking don't yeah, want yeah, to there's see no it. Way. There's just no way. Um, <clears throat> so speaking of, yeah, uh, here we go. This is like the first review, the star of the show, really. Yeah, the it really titular is titular character, Batman, Batman, Batfleck, yeah, Ben Affleck. It's weird to think that technically. There were, pe- there were people who didn't like this choice, Connor. I Do you remember those yeah, people? Yeah, I remember those people. Where did they go? I don't know. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're oddly quiet. Yeah, um, they've disappeared. But yeah, it's weird to think that for something that is technically... It's a sequel to a Superman film, so it could be called more of a Superman film than a Batman film as such. Yeah. Especially given the presence of Superman villains. It's weird to think that he's sort of like the focus he's, of he the is majority the of the story. Of and also the villain. In a superhero film. It's not... Because it's like a Civil War thing. It's like, yeah. no one's wrong, but... But Batman but, is more right than Superman. But then also... Ooh, turn your phone off. Come on, be professional, Connor. Yeah, sure, my phone. That was my, my phone. My non-existent phone. <laughs> sure, good job. Uh, yeah, but Baffle- Baffleck looks cool. He does look You've got that man. really awesome shot of him running into the dust of Wayne Financial oh, Tower. Yeah. While Damn, everyone's man. running away. That's cool. Then uh, him doing CrossFit, pulling the yeah, pulling the tire along. Yeah, that was a which a which thing. pales a little bit in comparison to Superman carrying a rocket on the back of him. Yeah, it does a bit. You got to wonder like how are they going like, to how Batman match works out versus Superman like bench pe- pressing eighteen yeah. wheelers and shit. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's, like, it seems a little hmm. interesting. Jeremy Irons looked good as Alfred. Michael Caine was so brilliant. Yeah, it was always going to be hard. But it looks like it's different enough. I will never love anyone as Alfred as much as I love Michael Caine as Ma- Alfred. Mark Caine. Mark Caine. Mark Caine. I fucking love. Oh, to protect you. Michael Caine. I know I have. As, as Alfred. As Alfred, yeah. But I will say. Yeah. You're gonna say any quieter? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, it looks good. I like Alfred. Yeah, it looks good. I, I, I like Jeremy Irons. He was Scar. Yeah, he was. In The Lion he King. Was. Not Tim Curry, like I thought for the majority <laughs> of my childhood. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> up until, I, I should point out, <coughs> up until about three months ago. See, they're actually <laughs> changing Batman's origin story in this to pay homage to the whole Lion King yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, And uh, Jeremy Irons is actually going to push Batman's yeah. dad off a cliff yeah. in this one. Thomas Wayne yeah. just falls into a film. Yeah, that's, how, that's how he loses. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. moving on from... Well, I mean, general general thoughts first. It looks good. It does, yeah. We were never going to be saying anything other than it looks good at the no, end of this no, trailer, we were. really, were we? If anyone's, no. if anyone's still saying it doesn't look good, I don't believe them. No. <laughs> I don't believe that that's their real... I, I feel like they went really all out committing to not liking the film before they yeah, saw any of the trailers. Definitely, definitely. And then are just trying to cover their shit now. Exactly. Like, like, oh, no, it's still just garbage. Shit. And then they're like, in the corner like, I want to go and see us like Yeah, of course you do. Because who doesn't want to see Batman exactly. fight Superman? I want to see people get the shit kicked out of them. Yeah, for sure. Anyway. Yeah. But it's a good trailer. It is a good trailer. Even if the film is garbage, we can say for... Su- for no matter how long that the trailer, the trailer is, because yeah. it's long. It is long. I like it's a good. Trailer. I like long trailers for long films, and you can guarantee well, it's this is probably going to be, gonna be like film. a three-hour film. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, I if it's good, I don't mind. Why do people bitch about long films? Long films are the best. Well, if if the film is garbage, yeah, if I don't want to sit garbage, through an it's... extra hour of it. No, no, good point. It's not like you know the Cloud Atlas thing. I've never walked out of a screen because a film has been too long and too boring. Before. I walked out of a film because I hated the film. What was the it's film? the only film I've ever walked out on. What was the film? And I should preface this, I know a lot of people like the film, but you have to understand, I just watched The Wolf of Wall Street, which is a brilliant film, and I was on that hype, oh. and I went to go see American Hustle on ah, the same right. day. And American Hustle bored the living fuck out of me. And I left. <laughs> okay. So anyway, see, I can't moving to back to I comic... Never, I never saw American ah. Hustle. Well, according to me, not worth it. Okay. Moving back to Comic-Con... Yeah. And to a trailer that initially Warner Brothers wasn't going to release, but yeah. eventually had to, because they said that uh, they were unhappy with the phone quality leaked version being so poor and badly yeah. representing the film, which I totally agree, but it kind of ruins the mystique of Comic-Con if you've got, like, here's an exclusive thing, here it is on the internet <laughs> later. Yeah. You know, people need to stop leaking their trailers. Like, I've never been to Comic-Con. I'll, ne- I'll probably never go to Comic-Con. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd like to. I mean, I probably just won't logistically get the chance. But, like, don't hire I would don't love to just go videos. around. I would love just to go around the, the, the rows phones. of chairs at yeah. Comic-Con panels and just slap the fucking phones out of yeah, people's hands. Yeah, slap the phones out of people's hands. So, if you haven't guessed, we're talking about the Suicide Squad trailer. Yeah. Featuring all of your favorite Everyone. villains. Everyone. The iconic villains such as El Diablo. And... And Captain Boomerang. And Katana. Yeah. And Slipknot. All these iconic DC characters. See, I've never heard of Slipknot, right? Yeah, not the band. I immediately went to the band. <laughs> I was like, I mean, there were some people I'll put it in this weird way. masks. Some people, some of these villains aren't going to make it to the end of the film. No, absolutely not. Given that they're not big actors and the trailer didn't focus on them, I'm going to say Katana's dead by the end of this film. Oh, almost definitely. And so is Slipknot. El Diablo might survive because they focused a bit on him in the trailer. We'll see. Captain Boomerang, I feel... They got Jai Courtney. So, like, for some reason, Hollywood thinks that he's a bankable star. So he's going to stick around. I can't see any one of the, the big. No, I could characters. see him dying. Yeah, yeah. well... I could see him being an asshole to everyone to... else. There's a... And dying. Yeah, there's a difference between us wanting someone to die and... I don't want him to die. I like the It's character. Jai Courtney. It's an Australian accent, in it? Turns out, he's Australian. Didn't yeah. know. Finally, um, someone cast a fucking Australian as an Australian. Yeah. Who'd have thought? Seriously, why Why is that? No one casts an Australian as an Australian. They only cast yeah, Australians as someone else. And, and other nationalities as Australians. I don't know if that's true. I've never seen an Australian play an Australian. I don't think, anyway. We're diverting a bit from the point. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Harley Quinn is in the trailer. We're going to talk about the real villains. Sorry, now. I just want to rewind a bit. Except for Mad Max. Except for Mad Max. Except for Mad Max. Anyway. Yeah. So, Holly Quinn's in the trailer. Yeah. You don't really see a lot of her in, like, full Holly Quinn, but you get, like, messed up prison Holly Quinn. Yeah, and psychiatrist Holly Quinn before she goes Oh, yeah, fucking but we'll movie. talk about that in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we move on to the Joker stuff. Yeah. Spoiler alert, we're going to talk about the Joker. Yeah. Um, 
So, your thoughts, Holly Quinn? Margot Robbie's great. Yeah. Got the voice yeah. down. Absolutely. She seems... I mean, she's a good actress. I like her in everything I've seen her in. But I've only seen her in three things I've seen her in. About Time. I've seen her in The Wolf of Wall Street. I've seen way too much of her in The Wolf of Wall Street. And I saw her in Focus, which is not a fantastic film, but... It's a good film. She's it's good Will in Smith it. Smith and Margot Robbie. Yeah. It's like the prequel to Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, it looked, she looked cool. Speaking of Will Smith, we also get yeah. a look at Deadshot uh, with his kids. Because he's got to be the good guy because Will yeah. Smith's playing him. So he has to have like a tragic backstory that made him a villain. Yeah, I don't know anything about Deadshot's I don't backstory. Either. I don't either. I just know that when Deadshot rocks up and he misses whilst trying to kill Batman... He kind of gets annoyed. Yeah, I imagine you and would get annoyed. And that's all the character development I know for Deadshot in the comics. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, we've got, for Will Smith, uh, you get a shot of him. He appears to have curled up his uh, mattress in the prison into a makeshift punching bag. It's cool. Oh, I didn't notice that's what that was. I think that's what it was. I thought he actually just had a punching bag. Why would they give him a punching bag in prison? Lots of prisoners have punching that's what, bags, I'm sure. No, but that's what tipped me off. I was like, why would they give him a punching bag in his cell? And then I like looked, and it looks like... Uh, it might not be. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But anyway, he, he looks... Like I mean, Will it's Will Smith. Smith. He yep. looks like Will Smith, but bald. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the I only thing... I that bit where he's all masked up and rappelling down the side of the building. Looks pretty cool. cool. Looks yeah. pretty cool. Uh, but I don't... I, I mean, we're going to get some origins in this film. And you're going to get Will Smith's... Deadshot Origins. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, it's alright, I guess. I wish that we would get past the... And we'll talk a little bit about origin stories in a bit when we get onto a, another Comic-Con trailer. But I'm kind of tired of seeing origin stories, even for characters that yeah. people aren't familiar with. I'm bored of it. I just want, like... Just get get to the fun stuff. I, I, I mean, they have to establish the backstory, so it's not... Like, yeah, but they like, don't have to go into quite as much detail and spend as much time on it. Though. Yeah, like f- when forty mil- minutes of the film, Just, like, like give us a teeny tiny bit of exposition. Yeah. We don't mind. We yeah. don't mind. We don't. Uh, so the big thing from the Suicide Squad trailer, yeah, you get uh, your first look at, um, at the Joker, Jared Leto, Oscar-winning actor. What do you think? Um, <clears throat> well, he was the Joker. He was definitely the Joker. He's definitely the Joker. 100% confirmed. Yeah. Finally, because we've all been waiting to get that confirmation. I, um, <laughs> I do really like the costume. Except, I do. Except, except for the damaged tattoo on the middle of his fucking forehead. It's a little bit excessive, of... but I'm okay with it. It's, it. He does look like a juggler. The laugh is damn good. Oh, the laugh's fantastic. It's so good. I was trying to explain it to you before you saw the trailer. I yeah, said, you're I accurate. Said, did I get it right? Accurate, yeah. I was going to say, I, what I said to him was, it was it was halfway between Mark Hamill's dying lo- Joker in The Dark... Uh, not in The Dark Knight, sorry. In, in Arkham Asylum... No, Arkham City. Yeah. And then mixed with <clears> a crow. And we're not talking like Jason Lee as The Crow. No, I'm... We're talking- Jason Lee? Jason Lee, Bruce Lee's son. Is it Jason? I don't I don't know. I thought Jason Lee was the guy from My Name is Earl. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, Jason Lee. You're going to do a quick fact check. Yeah, Jason Lee, actor from My Name is Earl. What was Bruce Lee's was son's name then? I don't know, but I don't think he was the crow either. He was the oh, crow. Bra- Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. Brandon my Lee. Apologies, my apologies, getting my Lees mixed up. Super dead. Super dead, yeah. He died on set of the... The crow. Of the crow? No, wait. From a no, gunshot? No, he didn't. Yeah, he did? No, because he... His dad died on set when a prop gun misfired and killed him. Is he dead? And he died on set when a prop gun misfired and killed him. Right. It's okay. called The Curse of the Dragon. Oh. Well, I didn't know that. But yeah, Jason Lee is definitely not Bruce Lee's no, son. No, no. Brandon the Joker. Lee <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, the Joker. So, the not cra- so the he sounds like the crow. <laughs> yeah. Not the Brandon Lee crow. Not the Brandon Lee crow. Definitely, definitely not, not the Jason, Jason Lee crow. crow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Joker looks cool. He does, yeah. He, I don't know why anyone ever doubted uh, Jared Leto as the Joker. I don't get it. it. It was totally unjustified. He's only been in one bad film, to my recollection. He's in a bad film? Uh, chapter 23, I think it's called. He plays the guy who killed John Lennon. He got really fat for the role. Okay... I've never heard of that film. Oh, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> okay. But yeah, should we talk about that Joker scene? 
because yeah. there's a lot of different interpretations. I heard someone say that they thought it was... So if you don't know what we're talking about, at the end of the film, he, he looks like he's about to perform electroshock therapy on someone. He's saying, I'm not going to kill you, I'm just going to hurt you really, really bad. Can I say the one that I've heard a lot of? Go on, hit me with it. Is that it's him breaking uh, Harleen Quinzel. Yeah, well, that's, that's definitely what it is. Yeah. In my opinion, I believe that to be the scene in which he tortures Harley Quinn to the point where she becomes Harley Quinn. Yeah. But I've heard people saying, oh, what if it's the death in the family if he's torturing Jason Todd? And I was like, interesting, but earlier in this, earlier in the film, you see the, the kind of Joker goons attack on Arkham, so to speak, and they literally pin Harley Quinn down and she's not Harley Quinn yet, she's Harleen Quinzel. And it's just it's it's clear that it's the Harley yeah. Quinn thing. It's not it's not Jason Todd Joker. Yeah, it would make more sense. Death. Yeah, it, it it makes no sense for them to do the Red Hood thing. Totally, I am in the school. I would love for the first Batman film to be de- uh, like the under the Red Hood yeah. storyline with Jason Todd. That'd be really cool. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah, have you got anything else you want to say about the Suicide Squad trailer? Um, other than the fact that I'm tired of how. Unbelievably talented Cara Delevingne is. Actress, model, beatboxer, drummer. Now guitarist behind her own head. She can play Sweet Home Alabama. I did not know that. <laughs> well, that's just um, a thing that she can do. So, enjoy that nugget of wisdom. I will say, for someone who doesn't know all of the, the villains that are in Suicide Squad... Well, that's two of us, but go on. <laughs> It'll be... I mean, no. I oh, mean, one like thing I want to mention... Someone who knows basically only yeah, I... Harley Quinn. Oh, well... Because that's, com- that's not an uncommon thing to be going through that film. Uh, yeah, the odds are most people will only know Harley Quinn and the Joker. Well, going sorry, yeah, acting. and the Joker, of course. Killer Croc's in there. He is... Doesn't but... look as stupid as he did in the photos. When, when you get those little yeah. CGI enhancements, it looks quite nice. That's, does, yeah. That was the other thing I wanted to say. Yeah. yeah. But someone who doesn't know those villains is going to be confused and overwhelmed. Watching that film. Uh, Except for Death Shock, because they're obviously doing Origins. I disagree, because I reckon? think that D- David Ayer is directing it, and David Ayer did Fury, and Fury yeah. was really good, so I trust the guy. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Mm. I, if we go off track record, he's. I mean, Fury was. Fury was one of the yeah. most underrated films from last year, Phenomenal. and I know you agree. I love that film. Yeah, it's a great film. Shia LaBeouf. Goddamn, Shia playing a religious crazy person. Yeah. Only the religious Wait, part is a dead. stretch for him. Shia Surprise. Shia Surprise. Yeah. Um, so that's it for the Suicide Squad trailer. Overall, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good trailer. I'm good. Uh, next trailer from Comic-Con that is not technically out. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse yeah. debuted a trailer. Uh, I did not watch it. Uh, Wait, it, it, got got, it got leaked online. Oh, right. It's tiny phone quality. Ah, once again. They've only been shooting for about five weeks, and oh, none of the visual Christ. effects are done. Why on earth would I watch that trailer? Why on earth would they show that trailer? Well, because you're at Comic Con. It's you've inevitably got to show something. Gonna be leaked. You've got to show something, though, don't you? I know, but show something that's actually finished. If it's going to nothing's get leaked... finished, it's been going for five weeks. Exactly. <laughs> So don't show anything. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I I would be disappointed if they brought out the cast of Apocalypse and then went, that's it, we're going away now. We could have brought them out in costume. Could have, except for a uh, except for Jason Isaac. Uh, Jason Isaac, fucking Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Who would have to get all purpled up? I assume. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, that would be. Yeah. Interesting to see. Is yeah. he also like nine feet tall or something? No, Apocalypse. he's tiny. He's a tiny dude. Oscar Isaac's is only No, like... Apocalypse. Oh, Apocalypse, yeah. Apocalypse is a big guy. <laughs> Fucking... Oscar Isaac. I know, Oscar totally... Isaac is like 5'8 or something. No, he's I like... think he's taller than that. Oscar I thought Isaac. he was like Tom Cruise height. No, Tom Cruise is like... I'm he's pretty sure he's like 5'3. The man is a midget. Um, <laughs> that's like a... And the man R. is Kelly. a <laughs> He's 5'8, yeah. Oscar Isaac's 5'8. I thought he Nailed was. it. <laughs> well done. Mm, um, you. Look at that. Brush the dust off my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Oscar Isaacs is short, is what the news was here. Yeah. No, the news here. Okay, so that... Comic Con is finished. <laughs> no, no, no. It, Oscar it, Isaacs is, in fact, is 5'8. Fucking short. Yeah, he's, well, it's not short. 
There are no. shorter people in the world. Yeah. No. The actual news from the X Men Apocalypse trailer is they revealed who the four horsemen are. Yeah. Now I told you about this before, but I didn't tell you who. And your immediate question was Is Wolverine one of the four horsemen? Because if they do the four horsemen it and better fucking have Wolverine. And what did I tell you? You don't even know if Wolverine's in the film. I don't think Wolverine is in this film. It's a, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a travesty. Uh, yeah, he's he he doesn't appear on the cast. Uh, but the four, uh, horsemen in this version yep. are Storm, okay, young lesbian Storm with the faux hawk. Oh, okay. Uh, like seventies. Yeah, sure. Or eighties Storm. Uh, Psylocke being played by Olivia Munn okay who is just a good looking woman (laughs) Uh, Archangel yeah and Magneto oh so he's gonna get turned in the film I assume which is good because you gotta have someone that wasn't already a four horse one of the four horsemen to kind of introduce the concept of it I like that I think that that's a, that's a good set of four horsemen there's some there's some we spent all this time getting to uh Getting to Days of Future Past. Yeah. Have, which, have to... you seen that yet? Yeah, I've seen oh, it. Okay, Good yeah. film. Good film. Yeah. But we've been doing our best to try and re-establish Magneto's character as a good guy. As a kind of torture soul, yeah. The yeah. kind of anti-hero, like, oh, he's doing it because he cares or something. Yeah. You know, which is, he's always kind of been that, I think. Make him a four horseman, that's just sort of shit. No, I like that. I like that. I don't know why. I, can't, I, I have no justification well, for I mean, why I like it, but... It'd be a bit different if they say made. You got a ver- Charles you got- Xavier. One yeah, of the four you horsemen. Can't, you, can't. you can't do that. But, <laughs> um, but if you did that, like, people would have a lot more. I like how diverse the yeah. the power set is, though. You've got someone, yeah. you know, you've got Archangel. They'll be flying around. Psylocke with a. What the hell does she do? I don't know. Um, Storm with your weathers and Magneto, who is only useful against a character who's not in this film. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, he's. I mean, obviously, I know Magneto is a very useful, powerful character. But yeah, that's it for X Men Apocalypse. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sure the trailer's great when I'm, it's I'm finished. Sure Oscar <laughs> Isaacs is purple and not tiny. And yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he's just his regular height in the film. I think. Are you shit? I, I don't think he's gonna be like the nine foot tall version. They better make him the nine foot tall. We'll see. Big, well, we'll see when we see the trailer because I don't know because I've not seen the trailer. And the final trailer, we're go- in fact, the final, no, not the final bit of Comic-Con news, but the final trailer we're going to talk about is a trailer that I watched because I couldn't not watch it, and one that you didn't watch because you're very stubborn and you don't want to see the shitty version of no. it. It's the Deadpool trailer. No, I'm not watching it. But, I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's literally postage stamp size in the corner of an iPhone faced Go, vertically. The fucking iPhones! Like, how hard is it? Put them away! Well, even that, though, how hard is it to get a decent video of... Like, just aim. Aim the camera. Keep your iPhones in your $150 shitty cases where they belong and not Jesus filming Christ. the god... What the hell is your case made out of? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Hipsters will buy fucking anything. They will. They could have made a fucking... They could have made a case out of goddamn solidified beetle dunk. People will buy I'd it. Bu- I'd buy that. No, you wouldn't. No, don't. I don't think I would. No. Um, But we're... I, we said we'd circle back to like origin stories. Yeah, this is going to feature Deadpool's origin. I'm okay with this. I'm. I don't think I am. I don't think he needs it. I don't think. I don't think he needs it, but I'm okay with this anyway. I will say it gave them the opportunity to do that joke at the expense of the Green Lantern film. Yeah, which was great. It was. As he great. gets tra- as yeah. he gets taken into the Weapon that. X that, thing, that he goes, is... "If you're going to make me a super suit, don't make it green or animated." And yeah. I was like, yeah. Because this will be the first time Ryan Reynolds has actually had to wear a costume to, to work. <laughs> yeah. Not just a fucking skin tight like a suit. Yeah. Which I suppose, pretty much the same thing. But yeah, so it's going to feature the origin story. Uh, I mean, I don't think you need it, but fine. Yeah, there'll I don't be think people, you need it either, but I'm perfectly okay There'll be with people who maybe don't, wouldn't get it yeah. if you didn't, so fine. That's, that's why I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. Uh, I want people to go into that film... And enjoy the character. Yeah. Okay? I don't need them to enjoy all of the film. I need them to enjoy the character because that's the point of the film. Yeah, them. well, yeah, I suppose. I was going to say, that was the thing I was going to say. It looks funny. Yeah. You've got some genuinely... There's some funny banter between uh, TJ Miller's Weasel and Deadpool where Deadpool says, 
you know, Wade Wilson takes off his mask and he's got yeah. the horrible bald head and he says he looks like a testicle with teeth. Yeah. And then TJ Miller responds, you look like an avocado that had sex with an older avocado. <laughs> or like the child of an avocado and an older avocado. It was, it was kind of funny. Yeah. There's some funny banter. I don't do it justice. You know, it's it's good. But that's kind of all it is. I know that's kind of a stupid thing to say, but like, it's just good. I don't think it looks amazing. I was never expecting it to be like The Godfather. No. Like, it's not going to be the best film ever made. Here's the thing. I'm pretty much going into that film. I just want to have fun. It's not going to be as like shockingly good storytelling as Captain America Winter Soldier. Yeah. Um, but I expect it to be wholly more fucking enjoyable just as a as a relaxing, funny watch. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I don't know if relaxing it's going to be... I imagine it'll be pretty intense. Oh, yeah. No, you know Ryan I mean? Reynolds but revealed like, a... I don't as much do comedy films. It's going to be fun for I'm the still... whole family, apparently, the film. Yeah. He was being sarcastic. That, like. that was the best thing. <laughs> he was like, I've bring your babies seen. along. <laughs> it's like... That was the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Was that I watched the panel on YouTube as well. As but yeah, I mean, it looks okay. Yeah, I'm excited for it still whatever but that's that's all the trailers we got from uh, unless you have something else to say about the Deadpool trailer I'm just glad that they stuck with Ryan Reynolds cause yeah he Good. worked as Wade so Wilson so hard for that he film worked he worked as Wade Wilson in X-Men Origins yeah. Wolverine until and then they, they did the thing yeah. <laughs> until, until they did the thing you don't even want to say it <laughs> I don't want to talk about the thing <laughs> okay but he worked as Wade Wilson and he's been he's been trying to get this done for so yeah, he long has, yeah. like he loves this character. He's the right person to he play this character. character. He is the character. He's a funny guy. He is I like the character, him. just without the severe, severe face and if you, cancer. And if you haven't already, follow Ryan Reynolds on Twitter. Yeah, absolutely. Because, god damn, that guy is funny. I was reading earlier, he tweeted out, he responded to someone, this guy on Twitter was like, you'll appreciate this, the guy on Twitter was like, could you, as a, as a fan of fashion, could you tell me what the, you know, the Deadpool suit is made out of in this film? And he was like, well, people were so angry about the them putting nipples on Batman that we made this Deadpool suit entirely out of nipples. And I just found that really, <laughs> I just found that really funny. Yeah, that, that is yeah pretty he's a funny dude, so follow him on Twitter. And then follow us on Twitter. There's little things. If you're watching this on YouTube, our Twitters are at the bottom. I promise you Jake might respond to you. Maybe. I, I don't know why you'd want to tweet at us anyway. But, I will not touch Twitter with a shitty stick. But, I mean, it's right. there anyway if you want to. Yeah. Uh, but that's all the trailers from Comic Con. Yeah, we have one more bit of Comic Con news, and it's not technically film related. It's about, yeah. but it's still about superheroes. I'm yeah. going to talk about the Flash TV series. Ah, uh, yeah, which you haven't watched. No, I haven't. It is so good. <laughs> There's color in it. It's fun. It's it's just they've got the original Flash from the '90s TV series plays Barry Allen's dad in it. Here's the thing. It's so good. I. Here's it's the... got Gorilla Grodd. The... It's got Captain Cold. It's got Gorilla and Grodd? Wade. Yeah, Gorilla Grodd. What the it. fuck? It's, they, get, they get Gorilla Grodd. All right, right, okay. I I think... the Go on. <laughs> the Daredevil. Not Deadpool, the Daredevil. Yeah, you, you were talking about this before and Connor said Deadpool TV series. I was like, what? what is <laughs> yeah. That? How have I missed that? The Daredevil, Daredevil. the Daredevil TV series, yeah. I believe... Firmly, it's the best yeah. to be the only no fucking uh, superhero TV show to have gotten it right so far. No, the Flash is brilliant. The Flash is actually brilliant. You'll have to sit down and watch it at least one episode with me. But we've got some news about it, Connor. Okay. Okay. So, spoiler alert for you, Connor. And I apologize if we talk at all about spoilers. Me and Connor are in the school of thought that we don't really care about spoilers. We we think that there are some things I don't care that obviously don't to the spoil. point where. They don't ruin the film. Like, yeah, they exactly. Don't... And so often you can know yeah. stuff about a film and it doesn't really affect the film. But anyway, we're going to talk about some the finale spoilers for the Flash TV series. Yeah, I don't give so a shit about So, my this. apologies if anyone who was intending to watch it still hasn't seen it. What the hell are you doing? See it. Yeah. So, at the end of series one, they uh, create this paradox. Uh, e- e- <laughs> Eddie Thorne kills himself. Uh, Wait what? Yeah. Cause, Wait a second. When you say he kills know. himself, do you mean suicide or do you mean he? No, he, kill- he goes back in time and no, no, no. Like- he shoots himself in the in the chest so that Eobard Thorn, who is the Reverse Flash, never exists. But they create a paradox and it opens up this big cataclysm above the uh, above Central City, okay. which Barry Allen thinks if he can run fast enough in the opposite direction to this kind of whirlpool thing 
that has created in the sky that he can close it, right? Um, it sounds right, daft. Second. Science-wise, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm going to talk from a, a theoretical physics point of view okay. first, right? <laughs> Firstly... No. <laughs> no. Just straight up fucking no. Right. Okay. Secondly, yeah. that's not how paradoxes work. But paradoxes anyway. in time do not create a physical third dimension representation. But Connor, what I'm telling you is that this opens up the the like when he he runs through it and you get clips of like other timelines and it opens up the kind of Earth two thing in okay. the DC universe, which is cool. Okay, that is cool. Yeah, and you get like glimpses of the Flash Museum in an alternate universe. You get um. Caitlin Snow is Killer Frost, but Caitlin Snow is in the, is like part of Team Flash, right? But in an alternate universe, she's Killer Frost. Anyway, it goes through a lot of cool stuff. But anyway, so that opens up the possibility of like interdimensional stuff and other Earths, right? Really alternate cool. universes. Okay. So next <laughs> season, Rorschach just walks through <laughs> the rift. <laughs> You're not trapped in here with me. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> you are trapped. Fuck it. The qu- you know the You're quote. You're terrible with Watchmen, aren't you? Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah. Sorry. You, should, you really need to. You should watch The Flash. So <laughs> there. Now, but here's anyway, the, thing, here's the, the news! For the God's sake! The Flash sakes! isn't regarded as the best thing to have ever happened. Neither is Watchmen. Watchmen is amazing! <laughs> Whoa! I give a shit about the listeners' ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the actual news from The Flash is now that they've opened up this kind of other world stuff, they will now... They have confirmed... That Jay Garrick, yeah, who is one of the Flashes, will appear. One of the other Flashes will appear in the TV series. Okay. So will Wally West. Oh. And the main villain for the series will be Zoom, Doctor Zoom, or just Zoom. I think they're calling him. Who is faster than? Because Doctor Faster Zoom than Reverse Flash would just be ridiculous. Obviously. Of course. Um, or is it Professor Zoom? Oh Shit. God. <laughs> oh fucking. Oh no. God, I hope not. <laughs> um. Yeah. So they've got. So. so they say he's faster than the Flash, he's faster than the Reverse Flash, and it's like a new threat. But I figure if there are three Flashes, it's probably going to take all three of the Flashes to take yeah. down Zoom in the Sid. Spoiler it, alert, it, probably. Here's the thing. The TV show the, is so the good. The reason though. I have a problem with the Flash TV series, right, is because I think the Flash could maybe work as a not quite as central character of the Justice League in a film. Right? Well, he's going to be in the film. But a man whose main villains are a gorilla... <laughs> Dude with a boomerang, and literally just a copy of him, yeah. is is I not. I think Captain Boomerang was in the Arrow TV show, actually. Not. It would make sense. The Flash. It would make They've sense. They've got Captain Cold and Heatwave. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Cold is actually played <laughs> by the guy argument? from. Uh, he's played by the guy from Prison Break. Is that an argument, though? Really? Uh, yeah, you're right. But yeah, that's that's all. The I Flash have to say villains about the Flash. are not good. So now we're getting off Comic Con. <coughs> yes. And just a little bit of background before we start this next story. I told Connor at the beginning of this all oh, of the, the all one? of the topics for this for today's show. I have show notes. Yeah. Uh, because I want to be organized and do this, this is correctly. The one. I'm so excited. Uh, and I told this him everything, but I, but I said we're not talking about one of them because it's funny, and I want to surprise you with it. So here it is. As of yesterday, yeah. Uh, this kind of blends film with theater, right? And musicals. So yesterday, I oh, think, no. on the, for those w- listening later, in the this was the 14th of July. Oh no! It was confirmed that someone is working on Fight Club, The Rock Opera. Fight Club, The Rock Opera. I'll say it again. Fight Club, The Rock Opera. Connor, you look stunned. Tell me your thoughts, and tell me them fast, because this podcast just died a little bit. Go on. I don't even know. <laughs> so, they're working on a... a, a apparently, is How is that going to work? What is the... What the fuck? Hot- I don't know. But the most magnificent thing about this, who do you get is to Dwayne play... Dwayne Johnson's bitch, in Who it? do you get to play Bitch Tits Bob on stage? You get Meatloaf, because it's a rock oh, shit. opera. Oh, shit. And he's a fucking rock star. Oh god, they're actually gonna get meatloaf. I think they sh- if they don't, what the hell are they playing? Yeah, at? yeah. But yeah, this seems like it. R- it would not work at all. Well, it didn't work but, until you mentioned meatloaf again. Well, <laughs> yeah, but like, there's potential here. I want to say, there's is there something. I don't know if it could work. 
What do you think about a Fight Club musical? Here's the In thing. fact, here's a better question. Here's the thing. A musical that featured Meatloaf would have to be carried by Meatloaf. Yeah, and Bitch Tits Bob is not like the... Bob is not yeah. a big character. He could play Tyler enough, Durden. He could play Tyler Durden. <laughs> Meatloaf plays Tyler Durden. <laughs> ironically enough, Bitch Tits Bob is not a big character. Get it? Because he's fat in the film. Also, he's like eight feet tall in the film, but people forget that bit. But here's the question I pose to you. What film do you want to see made into a musical? Oh. If you could pick any... Now, to run you through some of them, they've made Legally Blonde into a musical. They've made Spider-Man into a musical. They've made Ghost. They've made The Bodyguard. Uh, They've made The Lion King. What do you want to see as a musical? Clearly, I think the only thing that would go unparalleled as a musical uh, would be Sweeney Todd. Uh, (laughs) Ha 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 That's a funny joke. It's a g- I like Sweeney Todd, the film. I like Sasha Baron Cohen in Sweeney Todd. Yeah, I like Johnny Depp. It's not often he does something that isn't like, well, I'm crazy. But yeah, Sweeney Todd is kind of that, but not too much like that. I mean, he plays a serial killer. I know, but like, it's not... Sorry, spree killer. Over the top, zany... Yeah. Crazy shit. There's a lot but yeah, less can color. you not... What, what, what um, would you, like, film-wise? The Departed, the musical... <laughs> <laughs> the Departed, the musical. It would probably be a lot, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio film, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I would like to see... i tell you... I was going to say The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Because that's like kind of an out there... Maybe not a musical, but a stage production of that. Like the Ben Stiller version. Oh, why haven't we got a fucking stage version of Where the Wild Things Are yet? That's, that's, I've not seen the film yet. It's because... based on a book, Connor. Get a grip. Yeah. It's a children's book. <laughs> I know, but just think about the visuals. I think yeah, a it looks good. stage show. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's Pop that's that was the surprise. Was yeah. Fight Club, the rock opera. Jesus Christ. Uh, moving very swiftly on. Yeah. To some news about Doctor Strange, and uh, it's it's a pr- it's a pretty quick bit of news. Uh, Tilda Swinton has been conf- has confirmed her role in Doctor Strange as the Ancient One. And Everyone's like. Oh, it's a woman playing a man's role. I don't give a fuck. And they haven't... What bothers me is that it's it's a white woman taking an Asian role. There aren't many roles in no. Hollywood films that are built literally for Asian... Like, here's, here's the unfortunate situation, though. If you cast an Asian person in that role, they're like, Oh, it's so stereotypical. Yeah. Uh, but, like, when you cast someone who's not Asian, you get people like me that are like, But there's no opportunities for for, you know... What are you... I'm Google. I just want to see, because my favourite, favourite Asian actress who can sing beautifully. And I think she's, she you be know, she everything. doesn't provide the singing voice for Mulan. Oh, I know. The, the, what are you referring to? Um, I don't know her name, but she's also in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, Ming-Na Wen yeah. is also in Agents <laughs> of S.H.I.E.L.D. And she's in... <laughs> this isn't a good way to sell what, her as an actor. Sell me. She's in Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Well, as Doctor Aki. Hold the fucking phone. I love that film. Get Kevin Feige on the line. I love that. We film. have your replacement. I love no, that I don't know. But Tilda Swinton's gonna be in Doctor Strange. She's playing the ancient one. Who? Yeah. I'm not big on my Doctor Strange. And they haven't I taken. Think she gives. They haven't taken the role away from Benedict Cumberbatch and given it to Viggo Mortensen yet, and that's the biggest travesty of this whole situation. You really wanted Viggo Mortensen, didn't you? Do you know how good it'd be? <laughs> <laughs> it, it would be interesting. I'd give you that. Damn but I good. think he, his time has been and gone, and I get why they would get ben, Benedict Cumberbatch is bankable and he's younger. Yeah. And he has more longevity. Viggo, no one really. I guess with Viggo it being Mortensen. a lesser known. Exactly, you've got to sell it on you need something. You need to sell it on... You can't always just sell it on yeah. the name Marvel. Yeah. Although it works, it's worked in the past. Uh, but yeah, moving well, we on to... who the fuck Chris Pratt was before. Uh, well, he going... was in Parks and Rec. And Zero Other, Not other than Other than us fucking nerds, yep. no one knew who Chris Pratt was. Alright, well, I mean, yeah. Uh, but yeah, do you, any more to say on Tilda Swinton and Doctor Strange? Uh, no, I think... She would be great because she's a good actress. Yeah, but I just I feel wish... like that role has been miscast. Yeah, I agree. She'll be she'll be great in it though. I'm sure. Um, moving on to our final bit of news before we do like our quick fire round of news. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters reboot sequel thing that's coming out with all the ladies starring Melissa McCarthy, Here's the thing. Kristen Wiig, and the other ones. 
I've ju- I've just quickly become entirely disinterested in that film. Oh no, but wait, there's more. As of today, I think this dropped, or or last night. So this is like super, super in the. We're, we're doing real breaking news here, Connor. Okay. Dan Aykroyd of Ghostbusters yeah. fame has confirmed that he will be cameoing in the new Ghostbusters. That man Poor is Dan so Aykroyd. sad. Poor Dan Aykroyd. He needs to get over it. Is For the, the love of fuck. <coughs> is this... This is this is real. Is yeah, this, this, is, this is the old yellow thing. Th- I said talking. to Connor at the beginning, the thing, there is an opportunity for us to talk about old yellow. Because someone really needs to take Dan Aykroyd and fucking old yellow him real good. Because he is too <laughs> hung up on Ghostbusters. <coughs> he was like, oh, we're going to do this. Fi- it's going to be a sequel. And yeah. then Paul Feig was like, no, it's not a sequel. It's like a reboot. And Dan Aykroyd thinks he's involved in this. Yeah. But he's not. Poor man. He's just not. And it's Poor so man. sad to watch him just throw his life away thinking that he's still part of this someone please if if you live near Dan Aykroyd if you know a Dan take, Aykroyd in your neighborhood take your shotgun take him out back <laughs> get the kid to shoot him in the back of the head now on a serious note i wish Dan Aykroyd like the best of health and, oh like, for sure we should clarify love Dan Aykroyd we're not actually saying kill them but it's very sad to see him so caught it up really on ghostbusters is. Like, Even to the point where he's... Because ne- that cameo was not decided by the studio. No. That was clearly Dan Aykroyd going, when am I getting my phone call to be in it? Yeah. And sitting by the phone and waiting for Paul Feig to pick up the phone and be like, Dan, we need you in it. I've it's just become just... so in- disinterested in this Ghostbusters reboot, though. Cause it's got do- Chris Hemsworth with it, right, though. Here's the thing. He right. plays the receptionist. Here's the thing. Okay, that's funny. That's cool, that's isn't it? That's funny as fuck. I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That I like. Yeah. That I really like. I just but. hope they don't make him actually ghost bust. But <laughs> fuck. I hope they don't make him bust ghost in this film. <laughs> ghost <laughs> bust. <laughs> no, but like, it's funny because you've got this really competent yeah. Bill guy just yeah. doing reception Do you know and not being me functional. It yeah. reminds me of Blaine from Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Just like big, beefy, yeah, well-built dude. Super like fitness yeah. and whatnot. He's just like he's there, just kind just of running errands just, for a bunch yeah, of just nerds. Being there. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So that's yeah. that's Ghostbusters. But yeah, isn't it like? Here's the thing. I keep hearing different things about the Ghostbusters thing. I keep hearing that there's the reboot thing happening with, uh, with the female cast. I keep hearing about another Ghostbusters thing. So there was the th- there was was it Channing Tatum was rumored to be doing a Ghostbusters film. That man got really good really <coughs> quick. Like yeah, he it's, did. it's like someone someone remembered. Fox Catch is amazing. Have you <laughs> yeah. seen it yet? It's it's like someone was going around to all the different sets with him around like, something's not right, and then they just walked over one day and flicked the actor switch on in the back of his head. <laughs> on the and back. suddenly he's good! So that's what it is. You need to start <laughs> if someone find the actor b- switch on Jai Courtney for me, please. <laughs> I bust that's on Jai Courtney. I bust that's on Jai Courtney a lot, but really <laughs> He's he's alright, man. He's not. <laughs> I hate him. He's, not, really. the, he's not the worst. He's the do worst you know, in actually, all he's been in. Actually, do you know who else is not the worst but gets a lot of fucking horror? Tell me, rep? tell me who. And I make this argument every time I'm given the opportunity. Nick Cage. No, that, man. He, he's a good actor, but he's crazy. He's cr- he's batshit A-B-C-D. crazy. B C D. What was that film? I don't know. Oh, yeah. But like, he is batshit crazy. But a good actor. Yeah. And the problem is because he's batshit crazy, he only takes the bad roles. He's like Sean Connery. He only takes... Well, he's not like sh- Sean Connery, because Sean Connery had the sense to retire. Yeah, had the sense to retire, <laughs> and is also a horrendous fucking bigot. Oh, for sure. And sexist. And uh, Have you seen modern Sean Connery? I say modern Sean Connery. <laughs> have you seen 2015 Sean Connery? You wouldn't recognise him on the street. He looks like a hobo. He does, yeah. 2015 Sean Connery. Look love, at this I man. I love that he was given an opportunity to apologise for saying that he would outright happily Look at that man. Woman. Oh my he God. He is... Just a hobo oh my now. God. He looks like shit. I mean, he never looks fantastic. No. Nah. You're going to have but to put a picture of that up on screen. I'll give you a timestamp. It's uh, 49 minutes. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah. need to put that picture up exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's, that one. He, just damn, looks, man. he looks terrible. He looks so haggard. Terrible. And, yeah. But that's it for the main bulk of news. Hey, yeah. Connor, we got through the first segment of our show. And it only, it only took, took us 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Yeah. 
So now on to the last, I think this will probably take us 10 minutes, we're going to do something that I created called Quick Bits, which is just very quick news that we didn't want to talk too much about. And when he says he created, he means appropriated and renamed. Yeah, exactly. But this is quick appropriated stuff. Appropriated from wanna... literally anyone ever, ever. Yeah, everyone that did it. Um, but yeah, it's quick stuff that we don't, we won't talk about a lot, but we no. figure it's worth mentioning. So the first bit of quick, the first quick bit is uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2 has been confirmed by John C. Riley. Did you see Wreck-It Ralph 1? No. No, neither did I. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah. the, for the record, that'll be the quickest quick bit we ever do. <laughs> I know everyone loves Wreck-It Ralph, but I never it's just it. like, it's I, just... I never found the it interest. It looks great. Yeah, it does. It looks like... Maybe visual... I'll get around to it. It looks visually fantastic. It looks like it would be great as a family experience, but I am not a family person. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm really either. not a family person. I don't have kids. I don't plan to have kids. <laughs> Ever. I'm not a kid. <laughs> no, well, Therefore, you're a kid I have no comment. interest in this film. Yeah. But that's, that's the first bit. Yeah. Wreck-It Ralph 2 has been confirmed by John C. Riley. Yeah. Uh, second one, which I imagine Connor will have a bit more of an opinion on, and not a good one. Uh, Minions. Kill him. Ma- made Kill a, him, Dad. Made a butt ton of money this weekend. 400 million do you nearly know the worldwide. Thing, do, you know, do you know what the best thing about Minions are? Nothing. The shocking resemblance to Lemmings. <laughs> Like lem- Oh, the game. Yeah. No, okay. Like, did you think about <laughs> lemons? No, I was like, do you mean like lemming? Is it what? What does lemming mean? Hold on. Define lemming. Lemming. Uh, lemmings are an, uh, like the notorious. Oh yeah. Uh, Sm- for killing small, themselves, short but tails. The is they don't actually kill. Thick-set rodent related to the voles found in yeah. the Arctic tundra. Yeah, yeah. Here, Let's here's have a look thing. at some. The notorious for like. When I, when I say they bear a shocking resemblance to lemmings, I don't mean the animal, I mean the video game. Oh, yeah, yeah And the yeah. ones that just fucking run off of cliffs and kill themselves. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. To. But anyway, so it made a butt ton of money, 400 million money, worldwide. Yeah. As much as you rag on it, it's probably going to be a billion dollar film. I fucking hate it. You know. I can't wait for the next seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like they have the integrity to stop. I don't. Yeah, you're right. There's too much <laughs> to be fuck, made in merchandise. This is fucking DreamWorks. How many Shreks did we end up with? How many How many, many Netflix Shreks do we still have? Yeah, and straight to DVD. Shrek. Jesus Christ. Uh, there was a new Fantastic Tra- 4 trailer this week. Fantastic Troll? Shut up. Uh, there's a new yeah. Fantastic 4 trailer. Where we did saw you watch it? The Thing properly, finally. Yeah, I did watch kind it. Of, yeah, and it's got that beginning bit with Reed Richards fucking teleporting his car. Yeah. The whole thing. Here's the thing. It looks okay. Here's the thing. I like the look of the film. Doom. You got a good look at yeah, Doom. Yeah, got a good look at Doom. Doom. He's still Doom. Doom. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Victor Von Doom. <laughs> yeah, we got a good look at, uh, at Von Doom and. No, he, just Doom. Doom. He's not v- Victor Von Doom. Is I think not? his name in this is Victor Domashev. And he's oh, a blogger this, or some shit. Oh, is this the other guy that goes through with them and? and I think so. And I is think that's yeah. Dead. Yeah. I think okay. that's who Doom was. Either way, he comes back. Toby he's Kemp. still very fucking made of. He looks metal. cool. Yeah, he yeah. Does. He's got got that green thing coming through his face. Yeah. It looks alright. It does. Yeah. But that's what I, I mean. I'm not, seen... as, I'm not as confident with the thing CG as I was when yeah. I first saw that teaser trailer, where yeah. we just got a brief glimpse of it. We we we're not going to talk too much about this because we've seen trailers for Fantastic Four. It looks okay. Yeah. I'll go see it. I'll go see it because Michael B. Jordan looks really good. But more importantly. Uh, so does Miles Teller. Miles Teller, yeah, isn't it? Miles Teller. And after Whiplash, we love Whiplash. see anything that, that man is in. Yeah, true. I he, Instantly. They like, should have had... Well, with the exception of the Divergent series. Do you, know, do you know who they should have had playing The Thing? Who? J.K. Simmons. <laughs> the Thing. J.K. Simmons. Hang <laughs> 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 on! That man does such a good, angry... He'll do anything. Yeah. I, 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 he'll do anything good. Yeah, he, he was will. the voice of the yellow M&M. He is. And I yeah. didn't realise... He's Cave Johnson in Portal. I didn't realise that yeah, for the yeah. longest time. Yeah. For but it makes so much sense. Time. Oh. Okay. Stop um, that. So Jesus. moving on. Uh, we're almost at the end of the show. Uh, yeah. So thank you if you've made it this far. Yeah. It's really cool What are you doing? You. Yeah, get along. Go outside. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day. And here we are in this black room <laughs> with... With just miserable shit everywhere. Curtains half drawn. And yeah. So yeah. the next quick bit is uh, something that I haven't seen the trailer for, but I know you watched the trailer for. Uh, we got a trailer for Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Yeah. With Bruce Campbell you need to going watch, back to the Evil you Dead You need to watch world. that trailer, Yeah. get hyped for the series, yeah. and then go back and watch the Evil Dead That's the problem. I, I, I know it. nothing about Evil Dead yeah, except for the tree I. rape. Tree rape? Yeah, there's a woman gets raped by a tree. I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's... So the trailer looks okay. The trailer looks good. Yeah. It's not that the trailer looks okay. The trailer looks good. Right. If you don't mind strong gore, and you're up for just a fucking good laugh, yeah. that series, because it's a series, not a film, as I found out. I thought <laughs> it was a film. Yeah. 
that series looks like it's going to be great. It, it is that really good fun. bit with the I gravestones? Was, you, you ask, you're uh, saying this like I know. Basically, is a bit where obviously he's just killed a couple people and he, he buries them, puts a crucifix above the there uh, the graves, and then the girl and it's just like you know they were Jewish, right? And he's just like, <laughs> no, I did not know. That. Yeah, I heard that. He's <laughs> like, well, I wish you'd told me that before I made these crosses or yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That uh, series looks like it's going to be a good laugh. And fun. because of that, I'm going to retroactively go and see the Evil Dead. The films. Evil Dead first. But yeah, that's that's all. That's now the final quick bit is not. I I just wanted to talk about this. It's not film related. <laughs> no, it's totally film related. It's totally film related totally because film. there have been Pokemon films. So we're going to talk about Pokemon cards. I don't know why you're bringing Pokemon cards up. I don't know what the news is to do with them. But Well, this was the thing. I just kind of wanted to talk about it. Okay. So if you're only here for films, Leave now. go away. Thank, thank, you, thank you for thank being you, here, but piss here. off. Tune in next time. It's, it's been great <laughs> having you. But, yeah, so but the for Pokemon... like two or three minutes, we're just going to gush about Pokemon cards. Yeah, so... Pokemon cards are worth a fuck ton of money now. Yeah, they are. That's the news, God right? Goddamn, what happened to my twin... Like, I had like 2,000 of the damn things as a kid. But there is a point to this, is that someone... Uh, they've been valuing all of the old Pokemon cards, and a first edition Charizard card... Which we had. Yeah, is now worth $300 just on its own, not oh, even in man. mint condition, which for the UK audiences and for us is about 192-ish pounds. Yeah. That's the worth so much. Yeah, man. Did you? I never, just thought that was crazy. I just wanted to throw you that. Never in. played or researched card games in any forms because I can tell you that's actually nothing new. Well, I mean, there it's... are there are new Yu-Gi-Oh cards that come out that are valued at about the same price, and that's brand new, not even first edition. So. Oh well, I mean, the point the point still stands. I just wanted to talk about I, it. I ha- I have in my little lunchbox thing there. Yeah. Right, I have. So many Yu-Gi-Oh cards. A hundred and twenty quid card. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Thunder End Dragon. That's way too much to pay. Fucking <laughs> expensive. At least it was one hundred and twenty quid when I bought it. I didn't buy it for one hundred and twenty quid because I bought one that was in terrible condition because I needed the card for a deck. Oh, uh, okay. Card, All right. Well. Either way, I have a really terrible condition. Version. The point was, it wasn't really about film, but no. I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Because it's a it's a nerdy thing, and, it's and that's damn expensive. That is. Yeah. It's it's crazy. We had two thousand. Of those cards, God knows where they went. God. Probably wherever the hell the Doctor Who cards went. I, I know where the f- I know where <laughs> one of the fucking Doctor Who cards went. <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> Carl, Let's not open that kind of words right now. Uh, let's not talk about themes. Context: oh. Someone fucking stole my Master's Regeneration Doctor like, Who trade. For those of you who don't know, the Doctor Who cards were kind of a thing when we were like at the end of primary school. Yeah, and there was a Master's Regeneration card which was. Holographic and it turned it, it turned Derek Jacobi from to John Sim. Yeah, in like a regen. Really it's a super cool, cool card. card. And was like and twenty got, quid when it came out. Yeah, it got like stolen. Yeah, but anyway, Fucking but that's it for quick bits, and that's the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Thank you, you for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I won't make. Names. I'm gonna bleep the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Connor just outed the thief, uh, yeah. but you don't know because I bleeped it. Um, yeah. So that's it. Yeah, that's, thank uh, you for being here. Thank you for well, it's, it's coming uh, to this first episode of the Film to How Thought often podcast. How often are we going to do these? Like, weekly, I'm thinking fortnightly? weekly. I think it'd be fun to do I've, weekly. I feel like we'd have more to talk about if we did it fortnightly. Just because, well, you know, Comic-Con isn't every week. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, we pretty much nailed that timing, man. Yeah, it was almost dead on an hour. Should we just go for another minute and a half? No. I, right. We don't have anything to say. So, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time.